Lake Benning is located in one of the great valleys in the western region of the United States. I was on its southern shore at a ballistic missile test center. My assignment was to train a crew of frogmen to recover nose cones underwater as quickly as possible. Missile on course. Point of impact seven miles. 220 degrees. Go, man, go. Working against time was difficult, but we realized it's important. We didn't know that we'd soon be trying to recover something quite different in the same lake. Something even more important and deadly. At 10 o'clock that morning, on the other side of the lake, a 40-foot cruiser approached the dock that served the government research installation. It was traveling slowly for a reason. This was the reason. Captain Stevens, security officer. May I see your clearance papers, please? I've already been cleared by your Los Angeles office. I know, but we have to verify it again. It's a classified project. I'm here to see Dr. Schiller. Yes, I know. He's on his way. I'm sure you'll find those papers all in order. Max! <laughs> Hello, John. Good to see you. It's been over a year. You're looking fine. And you look overworked. No need checking those, Captain. He knows almost all we know. How long did we work together? Five years? Oh, come on aboard, Max. All in good order, sir. And good fishing. Thank you. You know, I can't remember the last time I spent a whole day fishing. Well, it's your own fault, Max. I always told you. Relax. Live a little. <laughs> dropped anchor a half mile offshore. Max, you're being foolish working yourself to death for the government. I don't think so. Put my system together with your process and we could make millions. What would I do with millions? Buy more research equipment? Hire more scientists to help me? I already have this. But what you create belongs to the government. Is that bad? 
Max, you and I could have the missile industry in the palm of our hands. John, after five years, I would think you would know me better than that. I will never leave government service. But the rewards are so poor. I'm happy. I'm content. And when you see what I've brought, maybe you will agree to come in with me and bring your system with you. Give my system to the government? They will pay you generously. It improves your old process? Vastly. It'll work with my system? It will. Can I see it? Yes. I brought it to convince you that your life's work belongs here. There's a summary page on top. If you agree to come in with me, I'll let you see the rest of it. You will end up working for science, too. Quick, get it! I'll get it! We searched for the briefcase systematically, just as we had hunted nose cones. The water was very clear, but we didn't find anything. Then I spotted something. It was a noose of some kind hanging from the hull.
Sorry, Dr. Schiller. Nothing down there. But it must be there. Nope. The briefcase is pretty large, you know. If it was down there, we'd have found it. But this is where it fell over. We haven't moved from this spot. Might have been swept away. Did you notice any current down there, Mr. Nelson? No. But I did notice something else. What? Well, when I was in the Navy, we used to tow fellas underwater sometimes. What are you getting at? There's a line attached to your bow. It's underwater. A line? What do you mean, a line? A line that might have towed a diver that was hidden beneath your boat. A man I towed here, I suppose. Max, what kind of fools are these men you're working with? Wait a minute. I didn't say you had anything to do with it. Dr. Schiller, how old do you know Mr. Bentham? Well, we worked together at the university. That was some years ago. I know him as a colleague. I mean, personally, how well do you know him? I know... John, what is the line doing there? You're all insane, every one of you! We're wasting time. If there were a diver down there, he's getting away. Sergeant, take this boat and crew back to the base. I refuse. And hold that man. I insist on my rights. You have no authority for doing this, Captain. Mike, we've got to get that diver. How do we go about it? <laughs> Just like recovering nose cones. All my men are ready. Let's go. Okay. There wasn't any doubt that the portfolio had been taken by a scuba diver. And there was only one way for him to escape from the lake. The whole shore behind us was occupied by Project Tempera and was under guard. He had to go across the lake. It was a long haul. Island over there. Be a good place for him to stop. Yeah. Couldn't have gotten ahead of us, could he? Already on that island or past it? No, I don't think so. Even if he'd have picked up the portfolio the moment it went overboard, he wouldn't have reached the island yet. All right, he's got to be back there someplace. Coming this way. Cut across this path, huh? Okay. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Diver has no sense of direction underwater. We have to rely completely on our compasses. We deployed ourselves underwater and took concealed positions in the thick grass of the lake. We waited below, the captain was watching the surface for telltale bubbles. Our line of interception lay across the most likely path of a thief.
What we didn't expect was that the tall grass had already provided cover for him as well as for us. While we were waiting in ambush, he was watching our every move. He made a quick and bold decision to knock us off one by one. He came up behind court. desperate struggle went on 20 feet behind us, but we weren't aware of it. We were intently watching ahead. Court was in trouble. We had to bring him to the surface fast. Diving from today. Do you see anything? Any bubbles? Not a sign. He's probably reached that island by now. Why don't we just go ashore and take him when he shows up? No, I'm afraid if he sees us, we'll scare him off. He won't go ashore. Let's go around the other side of the island, huh? We'll get him when he comes out of the water again. Right. Take around the other side, huh? Okay. See if you can find a shelter. Okay. So he won't see us. Meanwhile, the thief had a chance to reach the island. We circled the island, but we didn't see him. This was a lot tougher than finding nose cones. They don't move and they don't fight back. You see him? Yeah. Well, she's moving fast. Too 
fast for him to be swimming. He must, must have a scooter. Get over there fast, huh, Skipper? I'll take the other. Let us know we're right on top of them, huh? Right. like an enraged bull. He was fighting for his life. But a judo hold on his neck did the trick. Now, who are you working for? You were brought to the base underwater on that troll line, weren't you? Weren't you? You know the penalty for espionage, don't you? Espionage? I didn't know what was in that briefcase. Bentham's the man you want. Let's go collect Bentham. Come on, go. Get him down. Go ahead, skip around. I'm Lloyd Bridges, inviting you to join us for another action-packed story of underwater adventure one week from today.